Hello, my name is Chris, and in this video we'll be giving you a brief tour of our advanced email editor. We'll show you how to create messages, create templates, and give you a general introduction on how to use this powerful tool. Why do we need an advanced editor? In recent years, the ability to produce emails that render well in all email clients has become more difficult. The additional complexity to make emails that are also responsive, that is readable in both mobile and desktop devices, has made this doubly difficult. To accomplish both of these goals, compatibility with email clients and mobile friendly email, and at the same time allow for users to have an easy way to compose handsome emails, this has led us to the adoption of a more advanced drag and drop email editor. How it works. To show you how you can build an email using this new editor, let's take a tour. You'll see there's a new link, new advanced message. Similar to how you've created messages in the past, we'll enter a center information. Let's I'll enter a subject. And you have to select a template. Some templates are standard and they are provided at no cost. And they have placeholder images that allow you to, to build templates of your own based on those. And some are custom, the ones that you've created that you can use again and again. And we can help you build those templates if you need help. We'll pick this announcement simple template. Here's the editor. At the top are some main navigation buttons. Back to go back on the left. Save, save, and continue to go forward on the right. And in the center are buttons for preview to view how the message might look in mobile as well as desktop. Show hide structure, which shows the lines of how the different components of the message are, are put together and save as templates. So if you can build a message that you like and you might use again and again, you can save that as a template to bring back later. Over here on the right third of the screen contains the tools to build the message. And Everything is based upon body structure and content. The body is the basic settings of the message. It's the width of the message, background color, that sort of thing. Structure is structure of each message is composed of stacked rows, each row with a number of columns. The header row has two columns here. This is a single column, single column. We will add a two column section where we're going to put an image on the left and some text on the right. And we're gonna delete this, this row. Okay. Let's add some text. We drag and drop this text element here. We're going to drag this image over here on the left. Let's just edit a little message. Change font size. Let's, we've got an image. I've got an image I can drag and drop. And there's tools within the editor to edit and crop and caption images. And you can 
can cover those in a later video. And let's let's try adding a button. Simple button. Let's say we're going to create a registration button. And for the URL, maybe we'll just grab we'll grab an event registration link just for example. And there you go. There are also a variety of other content features that exist. For example, you can drag and drop dynamic content. Calendar event registration, new member data. And there's more features coming that we're going to allow so that you can we can integrate various other features of our system of the me of, of the membership system uh, into your messages. Now, also, you'll notice there's a there's a standard header and footer text section here. These little placeholders, at the time that the message is sent, are replaced with, in this case, join or renew messages. So, if it's a prospect receiving the message, they have a a link to uh, to join convert their prospect record into a full member record or if they're a member that owes dues they can pay dues there's a link to, to go ahead and pay their dues and the footer contains information about your association and all the things that help you be compliant with the can spam act anyway that's it for our introduction if you have a question please submit a help system ticket or contact us we're going to be adding a lot of features to this in the coming months uh, Thank you, and we look forward to working with you.